Once upon a time in a small town, there was a man named Rudrappa. He was known for always having strong opinions and arguing a lot. One day, he went to a teacher and started arguing about something unnecessary. The teacher listened patiently to all his arguments and tried to reply, but Rudrappa just kept disagreeing and questioning without really listening. Then, the teacher decided to teach him a lesson. He went inside and started making tea. When he came back, he had an empty glass and he began pouring tea into it in front of Rudrappa. The tea kept pouring and the glass became full, even overflowing. Rudrappa asked, Why are you still pouring tea when the glass is full? The teacher responded with a question, What's wrong with it? Rudrappa said, How can you fill the glass when it's already full? You can't put more tea in without emptying the glass first. The teacher explained, You are like this glass, full of opinions and thoughts. That's why you are not listening to me. Clear your mind from all those thoughts, and then you can understand me better. This made Rudrappa realize, and he stopped being argumentative. The story shows that sometimes, we need to clear our minds to truly understand others. Now, we will discover some English vocabularies from the story. We are embarking on an exciting vocabulary journey inspired by the compelling story, A Contrarian. Join us as we delve into the rich language that paints this tale. Let's uncover the words that add depth to this narrative. Our first word is Contrarian. In our story, Rudrappa is described as a contrarian, which means he consistently takes an opposing stance, especially in discussions. Ever met someone who seems to disagree just for the sake of it? Well, that person might be a contrarian. Example, Rudrappa's contrarian nature made every conversation a battleground of opposing views. Now, let's explore the word patiently. The teacher in the story listened patiently to Rudrappa's arguments. Being patient means waiting calmly without getting annoyed, an essential quality in effective communication. Example, the teacher patiently absorbed Rudrappa's numerous arguments. Our next word is unnecessary. Rudrappa started arguing about something unnecessary. When we say something is unnecessary, it means it's not needed or important. Example, Rudrappa wasted time arguing about unnecessary things that didn't really matter. The story imparts a valuable lesson. A lesson is something learned or taught, often providing insight or guidance. Example sentence Rudrappa learned an important lesson about open-mindedness and listening. Closing And there you have it, our vocabulary journey inspired by a contrarian. These words not only make the story intriguing, but also help us comprehend and express ideas better. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more word adventures and hit that notification bell. Until next time, keep expanding your vocabulary.